Pismo Beach, California. Now, most people come to Pismo Beach uh, during summer season. However, it is one of the best places to unwind and take deep breaths and set yourself up for a much, much more relaxing holiday season. Now, my first stop may be a little bit unusual for the beach, but it's really, really cool. And I'm right now in Monarch Butterfly Grove, and apparently thousands of butterflies are migrating from Rockies to here uh, for warmer winter. Did you know that butterflies migrate? <laughs> This is quite a small space and at first it doesn't look like much but as you get closer you can see thousands of butterflies that are just sleeping on trees. They stay in the grove from November to February. Numbers vary from year to year from 10,000 to hundreds of thousands. Many of those butterflies who do migrate, they fail to complete migration. Some are blown off course and land in places they never intended to go. Now come here when it's warm because butterflies love flying in the sun and they are actually cold-blooded. I didn't know that. And they can only fly in at least 55 degrees. In sunny California winter, these butterflies with their vibrant colors stand out like little jewels and bring us joy. And that's California wildlife for you. Take me out to California. Take me out. Now, Pismo Beach is one of those rare beaches where you can actually drive your car on the beach. And it's one of the most unique experiences, so I highly recommend it. It's really hard to pinpoint why you get that freeing feeling when driving on the sand. Maybe it is because there's no lanes, no roots, just a vast ocean and exhilarating Now you know, California really taxes you to death, but at the same time they give you these amazing state parks and they're all so different but also cool, so you decide if it's worth it. <laughs> so if you, ha if you don't have four-wheel drive, which is definitely better, and most cars are here four-wheel drive, but if you don't have it, two-wheel drive is okay, but only if tide is low. So it's the second part of the day. Because, if because over there, the sand is much more packed. But if tide is high, then you kind of have to drive more in this area. And here is definitely much softer sand. And I've been stuck before in the sand. And it's not pretty when they're pulling you out, uh, your car out. Now about 20 miles north of Pismo Beach, there's Morro Bay. And Morro Bay, very well known for Morro Rock, which is a pretty giant ancient volcanic mound. People love kayaking around it. But I wanted to show you this uh, place that is not very well known, Elephant Forest. And it's absolutely, absolutely incredible. Now the name Elfin Forest uh, comes from these short California live oak trees. In this particular location they grow up to like 20 feet while in general they grow up to 50 feet. What a big difference but that's where the name Elfin Forest comes from. Now they built here a five mile uh, boardwalk loop which 
really helps you and allows you to get through the entire forest and see everything and there's also here a bird sanctuary and it is absolutely incredible how amongst this kind of grayish trees you suddenly see like a bright blue birds and the color palette here is just absolutely incredible i do have to say that mother nature is a masterful designer Now it's hard to miss Moro Bay Rock in, yes, Moro Bay. It's like a giant blob that grew in a random place and just can't be moved or removed. The town of Moro Bay is really neat. It's uh, tons of shops and restaurants and of course they're very famous for their uh, California sea otters and uh, including the sea otter babies. Sea otters are on endangered species list, but they are making a great comeback. They spend their time floating on a back, enjoying the sun all day long. Isn't that The benefits of having a kayak or taking renting a kayak is that you can come around sea otters and kind of hang out with them. So that's definitely something you guys can do. I also enjoy shops here very much. Great for holiday gifting and I'll link my favorites below. Now, uh, Pismo Beach used to be called clam capital of the world and because they had so many, but they over harvested it and, oh, more stuff coming. Thank you. They, uh, um, they over harvested it, so eventually they don't have that many clams, but they're very famous for their clam chowder. Now, there's a place, Splashes Cafe, that is super famous, that's where everybody goes, but it is such a touristy place, and I asked around, and I found out where, per locals, where's the best clam chowder, and I'm gonna list in the description, so check it out. Pismo Beach, is, the actual beach, is absolutely incredible for taking winter walks, for collecting shells, for taking deep breaths and counting your blessings, being thankful for your health, for this beauty, for peace. Down the motorway, there was something about you that day. I can still hear the shimmering sound. The hill is near, let's get right up. Walk up to every top. We couldn't tell the sky from the ground. Well, this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you liked it, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss new destination. All the links and information is in description below and on the blog. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.